We're pleased now to be joined by Karen Fouts from the University of Strathclyde. Karen, tell us a little bit about the advantages of surface enhanced Raman scattering. Um, so I guess the main advantage is the sensitivity of the technique. So we can detect very low levels of biomolecules in particular we're interested in. Um, and we get a distinctive vibrational molecular fingerprint so we can kind of definitively identify that molecule. Um, one of the main advantages I'm interested in as well is the ability to multiplex. As we get a vibrational fingerprint, we can identify each molecule and if we have multiple molecules present, we can differentiate which ones are present. Tell me about some of the progress that you've made with this technique. Um, I, I think our uh, main progress falls in the trying to make it more quantitative, so um, to improve the ability to tell how much is present. So um, historically, surface enhanced ramen was a bit um, known for being not very reproducible in terms of the results that you get back. So we've done a lot of work to try and make the data reproducible um, to allow us to quantify how much is present um, and also pushing the multiplexing capabilities. So being able to detect multiple things, one sample, but also be able to quantify each um, analyte that's present within that mixture. What are some of the challenges that you're facing now and, and what do you need to be able to solve them? Um, I think our challenges is pushing that multiplexing capability um, and something that we're interested really in now is moving it to point of, um, point of care use, so miniaturizing the technology, so moving the, the sensitivity from more of the lab into the kind of bench side arena where we can still get the same sensitivity multiplexing capabilities, but on a smaller scale. Really interesting stuff. Karen, thank you for taking the time to share with us and enjoy the rest of the week. Okay, thank you.